Hi, Stitcher. Hi. I'm Keisha. I'm Laura. Welcome to the Pattern Queens, episode 126. Mm -hmm. Today is Sunday, June 25th. Man, I had to get there. <laughs> and this is a channel about cross stitch. And friendship and rambles and lots and lots of shenanigans. And I've got to watch too. I was like, <laughs> oh man, I could look and see too, but. <laughs> it's like the best thing is to look at that That's and right. see let's, yeah. let's coordinate our watches synchronize there you go <laughs> and mine always has i always have a scrunchie too just see. in case i'll uh, see uh, this is an old like kind of knockoff fitbit that timothy just found and i was like oh i'll wear it today <laughs> well this is a, an elementary school hack because I never know when I will get in the middle of things or be called to go outside mm -hmm. and I don't have time to go rummage through and find things. So I just wear it with my watch. Yeah. It's yeah. like a silly thing. I will. And you know what? Elementary and middle school girls love their scrunchies. <laughs> so it makes you cool. <laughs> oh yeah. The kids are always like, oh, Miss Land, does she have a scrunchie? I know. Yes. Like, no, yes this is vintage 80s. So we went straight into the rambling yes. and we want to say welcome to all of you coming to join us. We know we've got some new people, yes. which is exciting. And we love that our, I don't want to call you old, that our returning friends are uh, back again. And we love that too. The comments have been really fun lately. Yes. Yes. There were a lot of comments on our Stitch With Us oh. about summer memories. Yes. Yes. summer memories. Those are so, so good. Everyone has such different summers. It's kind of cool. To see. Yes. And it, it's fun. I mean, if you look at the age difference between Keisha and I, then yeah, you get all of the all of the the broad span but it's fun to see what we have that's similar yeah, to for sure for sure because everyone just has that summer freedom feeling mm -hmm. you know so even if you know you experience it differently there's so the much. best part of working for the school is having summer vacation oh, see and i miss and wait until uh christmas time and i will say that it's winter vacation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah i get the fourth of july off <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting yeah, yeah okay so what's new with you this week well yesterday we had the novels and needles mm -hmm. chat um page to screen that was really fun just to talk about a book we all read a discovery of witches we all had such differing <laughs> opinions on it um so it was fun uh I really enjoyed that because I got to come here uh because uh Laura and Katie graciously invited me to just sit here because uh, trying to uh, do that from home, I have quite a few distractions. It's a little challenging. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because James has no boundaries at this time, <laughs> and will just jump right into my room or into the office. So um, I got to have like six hours of uninterrupted stitching time, and that doesn't happen for me anymore. And it was nice. And we got to the end of our stitching time, and we're like. Oh my gosh, look how many stitches we did. <laughs> right. Of course, so, you won't see that today for me because it was all on models, but mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but it, it was, was amazing, good. right? It was, it was really good. It was nice to hear everyone and have those discussions. And it's just nice to get together and chat, I feel like. So. Keisha sat right off screen. Yes. So I was a disembodied voice, but it was fun anyway. Which was fun because people would be like, who's talking they're looking at the right. screen to see what's lit up and right. it's yeah. just me over to the side you <laughs> forgot I was here but I've been listening the whole time <laughs> too fun what's new with you well I am all kinds of bling it's so I got sparkling. new glasses and I love them mm -hmm. and um I will be getting new sunglasses as well because I had my flex card left that I hadn't used during the year so I splurged and nice. Katie said, get the sunglasses too. So she helped a little bit and we, we got me sunglasses. You need them for all your summer road trips, obviously. Well, and we're still planning to go out to Oceans of Fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking it'll be nice to be able to put those on and be right. able to see yeah. in the pool. Oh, for sure. For sure. So, and they are fancy too. The, mm -hmm. the tech who was doing my glasses was so excited that I went with some fun things yeah. and it was I, it was cracking me oh, up they're so fun because Lara doesn't need them for near vision so she wasn't yeah. wearing them whenever I came into the office and then she put them on and I'm like ah your glasses <laughs> <laughs> they're so exciting I was trying to decide <laughs> if I brought my other ones because these um these are too big and come right against 
they're too big for me to stitch with right and they come right against my cheeks and I have little ones my old ones are little so that I can look under them to read and stitch right right so and I don't you know I just don't opt for the for them to make part of my glasses clear yeah yeah so anyway that's the fun update I know some of you are like get to the stitching already well yeah but some of you are like we just want to hear about the shenanigans I know you're and and all the sparkle I'm like I can't keep my head still (laughs) because she just wants to show you I was driving here this morning I thought what is all that sparkle on my on my visor and then I realized oh it's my glasses (laughs) uh it's the first time my glasses have not been purple Mm -hmm in a long long time you're you're still looking at it aren't well you? it's because <laughs> she says they're not purple but they're a gray that kind of go purple with her skin tone <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's funny uh so katie actually picked these and i hadn't even gotten down to these and i was looking at another pair of very cute purple ones mm-hmm. and she pulled these out and i'm like those are really adorable <laughs> and the tech is like Going on. okay I'm gonna get the fun ones because I'll <laughs> still use my old ones at home okay. and they're fine my vision didn't change that much which mm-hmm. is good yeah for sure so are you ready to talk stitching I am ready to talk stitching do you have any finishes this week well I do but I can't show it to you but it's over there oh okay <laughs> I have a finish but it's already in at the framers so I will insert a picture here Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fancy katie landis photo so drinks mm-hmm. if you haven't been here one of our viewers a long way back said that we said that name so often that we needed to make it a drinking game so mine is water what flavor do you okay, have today so i need everyone's opinion so this is the limited edition uh it's the ultimate limited edition it's the league of legends thing that (laughs) because they do some sort of collab every summer i feel like and to me it tastes like bubble gum it tastes like bubble gum coke and i don't really like it but my husband got a 12 pack so here i am drinking it so that we can get new soda (laughs) (laughs) um so i didn't say that this is santa stamp collection by the black needle society Mm -hmm. And it's designed by Katie. And it's one that she wanted for a model because you will be able to buy this during July. So exciting. It's such a good one. And it was exclusive to people who bought the nice list box yes. uh, last year. So he's just always so good to help fill in all of the details. Well, it's just because I'm a Black Needle fan. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I stitched it in 15 days. Oh, it's 15,643 stitches, but I hit a point where I realized that I I get like stitchy madness during the summer when I am on summer vacation and I stay up late mm-hmm. and I stitch and I averaged over a thousand stitches a day, obviously. And I just... I just managed to like coast in and finish that thing up. That's really impressive. I was really happy with (laughs) it. You must have had just the best time because that means just a lot of just sitting and stitching and having some time to yourself. It was really good. Um, I did all of the ecru first. Mm -hmm. So I did all of those stamp Mm -hmm. outlines and um, I even, I guess I did stamp 25 because I had heard people talk about oh you know it's it's so full it's you know full coverage in there so I did it first and I kind of filled in stamps around it with whatever little bits I had left right and then I jumped up and did the header and did the ecru Katie wanted me to do that so that we could go ahead and go pre-order the frame right and our LNS graciously agreed to order the frame without the piece stitch yeah, that's nice. and I'm like I'll have it done in a, in another week or so and she's like mm-hmm. we walked in this last week and they said wow <laughs> See, I wasn't joking we, we, we really got works. there yes. yes and with that I know I, I said this last week but I'll say it again so Katie reminded me because I've been kind of about the 59 before 60, because it, it wasn't letting me stitch 
how I wanted to this right, year. Because you were only do, finishing smalls just to get that goal. Yeah, smalls or things that were so close to a finish. Mm -hmm. And I was afraid it would leave me with a bunch of stuff I didn't want to do. Right, right. Katie reminded me that every single stamp came out as its own release mm -hmm. daily. So I counted them all individually. And my 59 before 60 has ended with 70 finishes. Actually, it hasn't finished because I have another week or so. But And something you're trying to get done by the 4th of July. So yes. So maybe I will have <laughs> 71. But I counted it as one on my yearly finishes. And for my yearly finishes, that puts me up to 22. Nice. Nice. So it's been a good year. Yeah, I need to look because I'm not really sure. I haven't put that in, you know, a couple finishes that I've had into my spreadsheets. So that was a long time to talk about my one finish. But it's an exciting finish. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> Do you have some stash this week? I don't have any stash this week. I have just been just full up in my house working on like three different projects. <laughs> well, I have some stash. Uh, yes, show us. So Ooh. I got my June floss of the month from Silk Weaver. No, Silks for you. Silks for you. Thank you. My brain with that. Oh. Look at this. Is this like gorgeous summertime yes. Laura floss? It may be winter in Australia, but it is summertime. And it is just like it's oh. it's Laura and Keisha together. I love those. I mean, that's. That has purple and green in the two. Yes, those are so fun. Okay. So those are Keisha and I colors. And I was so enthralled. I, I got that. I opened it and just gasped. Yes. those. Are this is a really fun club. And it's, it's not that expensive to get. And I feel like I'm building up a silk, um, a silk stash, which is what I wanted to do. And it's just really yeah. fun. Then I also, um, last week was Shepherd's Needles, I want to say it's their 10th anniversary. And so they had hands-on design, do an exclusive design for them. It's called mm -hmm. Ten the Flock, and it has both of those pieces in there. Wow. So cute. And it says, oh yeah, I can't do it. Tend the flock, gather your cares, be in the moment, honor your heirs. Just really sweet. Oh, and it comes with all the stuff. Yes. I bought it as a kit. It came with fabric. Um, it came with the flosses. It came with the pins in here. I mean, it came with like all the stuff in the back. So cute. And it also came with this adorable... A uh, three inch starter square, which I'll pull out because one side says shepherd's needle. Wow. And the other side just has these fun little logos. That's so cool. And I loved it. And it has the extra spots in there so you can do two inch, two and a half inch, or three inch. Yes. That was an a really great little yes little thing i pre-ordered it and then i was so excited that it came in mm -hmm. and then you know i thought it, it shouldn't travel alone well things should never so i also got the heartberry sampler oh cute from bent creek i love this one mm -hmm. um i really like heart motifs if you don't know that about me and this one was just really sweet and i didn't have it in my stash so Yes, it must come home. Then, <laughs> I've been waiting for these. And uh, yeah, Plum Street came out with Summer Moon. Look at those rabbits. A white one down here and the brown one up top. And the other one that they came out with right now, it has to be this one, is Mini Moon. I think that's right. And I had missed Christmas Mini Moon. Do you see a rabbit theme emerging here? Rabbit's Moon's houses. Yep. I like this one so much that I bought it twice. Oh. Does my <laughs> friend need to stitch a big house? I'll stitch a big house and a rabbit with you. There you go. Hooray! I have <laughs> some stash, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I um I get emails from that so Kelly Co. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are times when it just like sucks me in. Oh yeah, it hurts. And oh. this week I was like, I just need to admit it. I am a sampler stitcher. Oh, very fun. Not a not a reproduction sampler stitcher, but I am a sampler stitcher. Yeah. I loved it. And she does, Kelly does such a nice job. Mm -hmm. And it also came with her uh, little bitsy key, which these are really nice. I got to do this at the snap and not just rip it open. Has the little pocket inside. And this is a magnet. Mm -hmm. And you can put your threads and things on here, your orts. So that's really gorgeous and it matches it. And she also sent me a gentle reminder that I could have gotten money off if I would have used my points. And she sent this cute little needle minder with it, oh, which I love. Good. And then I have been eyeball. Oh, good. Look. Oh, it's stuck to. Perfect. To the magnet inside. This is great. <laughs> I have been eyeballing her spring collection. So I just went ahead and did this. I should have opened this ahead of time and uh, put them on the ring. But she has, let me see how many there are. So fun. Oh, they may They're all be all different. different. Okay. So it's this really cute. Can I have you hold that for us? Um, it's this really cute collection of thread drops. And they're just all of these really cute florals and bright things. I mean, they're just sweet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have really been enjoying having my floss on these pretty little thread drops. And you want to show them that for me? Sure. And it came with a little needle minder yeah, to match it. the first card that you had there. And you get your ring to go with it. Thank you. You get your ring to go with it all. And um, it's just a fun little set. So, I, you know, I love getting things from Kelly. She does a really nice job. Mm -hmm. And she always has something fun and creative. She has some new um, summer things out as well. But I needed the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> that was where my head was. Um, and I, these bags are kind of fun. They come with her hanger on here. Mm -hmm. and you can write on the back it's erasable oh she's so thoughtful mm -hmm. about those sorts of things and this is a little wood piece yes. on there too so that was a fun thing yes for sure see i haven't been able to resist and then we went to visit um katie and i had a pickup to do and where we went we were given a bunch of charts and things mm -hmm. that this person is just ready to get rid of. I got this whole set of Santa's Village from Country Cottage. So I have all of them wow. that make up the set. Uh, the reason I'm showing you these today is that I'm kind of thinking about starting one during July because I'm not starting enough projects right. in July. Right. But I'm thinking about starting one during July mm -hmm. and doing Christmas in July that way oh, and trying yeah. to do one a month and oh, finish it. That's a good idea. Next year, June or July. That'd be fun. And then you have enough time to try to finish it all and get it up mm -hmm. next Christmas. That's a good idea. Unless you are stitching on 36 or 40 count, it is not going to fit on a quarter yard. Mm -hmm. It needs a, a special cut. Mm -hmm. And um, I have all the buttons with it. So I feel like it needs to be the 32 that it called for. Right, right. So I need to look through my stash and see if I have some bigger pieces and mm -hmm. kind of go from there. Gotcha. Ooh, that'll be a fun project. So that's it for my stash. Mm -hmm. Finally. Good stash this time. <laughs> <Good> stash. <laughs> so next up then would be our whips. whips. All right, well, I don't have a lot to show because I've been working on other things, but what I can show you is I worked a little bit on a stitch with us on Castle Homecoming from the Frosted Pumpkin. Um, my night's looking a little bit creepy because she doesn't have eyes, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so this is on a piece of 32 count Valor from Picture This Plus. We have the next clue, 
I'm almost finished with clue one, but not quite. So and we're putting in the picture with clue two up mm -hmm. here, right? Yep, yep. Um, so a lot of bricks for me to stitch, but this is where I am right now, and I'm really enjoying it. It's really fun and bright colors, and um my son James really likes it whenever it comes out because <laughs> he gets to stitch on the unicorn. So I'm very excited about stitching on the unicorn. And then I was going to start a mill hill on the first day of summer, and then I just didn't do it. Um, so I decided I should start on something. So I took out my stash of uh, smaller mill hills and asked James which, which one I should work on. And he picked Dragonfly. That's um, adorable. I love it. And this came out last year, I think. And, um, well, this one is all beads. So the whole thing? The whole thing is beads. Wow. So I started this yesterday, and here's what I got. I got his little body done. So it You're went, doing great. Thanks. It went pretty fast. Uh, the most fun thing about this is I have a, um, a tacky bob that you got me at, uh, or a tacky bill, a tacky mm -hmm. bill that you got me at market. And so James and I have been sorting the beads by color oh, on there. Okay. And we call it our our pirate treasure. It's our <laughs> treasure chest. And so we are stitching him into this and he'll pull out, like, you know, I'll ask for this, you know, whatever color of one and he'll pull it for me. So we had a fun time working on this together. And um, and then I worked on it last night just because it was a fun and easy thing to kind of whip up. So that's where that is. Uh, Maybe I'll have it finished next time. I don't know. Yes. There was a hashtag for that too, right? Um, there was, but I'm not. I can look it up while you're showing your website. You know? And we can always put it on your oh. description too. Yeah, sure. We'll put it in the show notes. It'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in our stitch with us, I listed that I worked on um, Nihon, but that's not what I worked on. <laughs> I worked on, I started... Bristol Grace by Dutch Treat Designs. Um, I picked this, see, I am a sampler stitcher. Um, I picked this because the floss that I was choosing resembled this. That's not really why I picked it, but I knew that it would look gorgeous. And I managed to get the little corner in while we were on there. Ooh. So it is beautiful. I'm using... Um, Lagoon is going to be one of them, but the main color is Island Blue from Gemmel Art. Mm. And this fabric is a Manadadonna hand-dyed floss, or hand-dyed fabric, sorry. Just a gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. And that was fun. I may have to move that over to my sampler stitcher bag, don't you think? Yeah, maybe so. Why not? That's and then not I'll a thing to put, in there. put something else in the big dragonfly yeah. bag. Then I really have been working on knee high. It's what I worked on yesterday um, during the during the uh, book club. And I'll put this behind it because I'm afraid that's going to shine through. I managed to finish up all of the red and white on the flag. And I have started filling in the blue up here behind the stars. So I put in over a thousand stitches during our chat. Yeah, yeah, you really got a lot done on that. It was crazy, but I didn't need my pattern mm -hmm. because I was just filling. I had, right. I did use it for a little bit to finish off the white because mm -hmm. I had a little to go, but then I was able to fill in the rest of the reds and I thought, well, I just wonder how many stitches I did. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot. lot, lot. So <laughs> that's all that I've worked on in whips because... I am also model stitching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're in model stitching season. <laughs> and that is why we are doing one week of floss tube and one week of stitch with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do you have plans coming up? Um, so I'm not sure what the weekly prompt is for Fandom Stitching Central. They're doing their version of like a whip go sort of thing. It's called Ringo because it's Lord of the Rings. Um, so <laughs> I may hop in on that, um, cause I would like to stitch some of my own things, but probably the next few weeks are going to be heavily model stitching. So I don't know that I'll have a whole lot to show. I do have plans for that, but I can't really tell you. Um, <laughs> all will be revealed eventually. And it's short term. So yes. everything has, has a really quick mm -hmm. deadline. Uh, all the same deadline, it turns out. So, um, 
but that's okay. I'm, I'm really enjoying the pieces that I'm working on and, um, and it's really exciting and I'm happy. I'm going to be so excited to share all of that with you because you guys are just gonna freak out because they're, it, oh. it's cool. It's cool what I'm doing. Um, so I am loving model stitch and I'm just not really getting to a lot of stuff for myself, but I will probably work on that dragonfly some more because James loves it and it's fun to bring him into my hobby. So, um, I'll probably work on that some more. I'll probably try to at least finish the first clue of Castle Homecoming. That way um, I don't feel terribly behind. Not like Halloween Reef where I'm like, well, I haven't even finished part two and part eight's coming out this week, so. And I don't know if we talked about it on here, but Tiny Modernist came out with their Halloween sal, which then Keisha said, oh, well, next month will be when their Christmas sal starts mm -hmm. probably. Well, because a lot of times I've noticed with Tiny Modernist is she'll, put out the Halloween one and it may not start next month, but she'll, she'll put out, out, yeah, she'll put out a Halloween one and then the Christmas one kind of mirrors what the Halloween one is. So they're kind of a set I and mean, she's done that a lot in recent years. So I'm excited to see what the Christmas version. Is. Me too. So. <laughs> um, the Halloween one looks like four squares and a header. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm remembering correctly mm -hmm. and it looks like it'll be really cute, but I am really <laughs> I have oodles of Halloween whips and projects, and I'm trying to rein that in a little bit. But Christmas, there's no control. Right, right. So I'm I'm excited. I mean, I would buy anything that she released. So <laughs> she does awesome designs. I, I love her designs. So um, yeah. So my plans are to work on what I need to work on and try to fit in some of my own stitching somewhere in there. Somewhere in there, right? What are your plans? Well, July is coming. And um, you guys know that we, I had a giveaway for Sweet Wing Studios Forever in Peace a couple weeks ago. And I have mine all ready to go because this will be my birthday start. And I've converted this all to color and cotton. Mm -hmm. And this is a project bag that I made that it's going to go into. <laughs> But um, probably, I mean, if you wanted to know, I could, I could tell you what my conversion is. The fabric is a um, special edition, a limited edition. So you would have to just find something close, but I liked, it's kind of a slight blue gray. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll look really pretty with this. And this bag was like right up my alley because it's nice. denim inside and then all the stars. Mm -hmm. So Very cool. that's one thing. And we're going to use hashtag PQB day, Sal. And I told Keisha, I feel like we don't have to remember any others. We can just do that. Yeah. And I'm saying stitch something patriotic or something purple. Mm -hmm. Your bug has purple. Oh, my bug does have purple. All way to do is head. <laughs> He'll just be headless until your birthday. <laughs> so we don't have all that much time before my birthday comes around, but that's what I'm planning. And then also in July, so Katie and I have been doing starts um, monthly and we decided that we would do, um, we would do a start for each of our retreats and we are having our um, frog boards retreat in July. And this year, one of the challenges is out in the lake and, you know, the derm strain comes in the big yeah. ship and all. So I thought it was a perfect time to do, this is a slightly older chart, if I could find the date. It's from Hands-On Design. Yeah, I can't see it. Not with these glasses on. Um, it's part of the To the Beach series, and it's called A Whale. Oh, it's because it's on the side of the front. Oh, is it? It is 2016. There you go. And it was a whole series, and I really enjoyed these, but I thought A Whale is just too cute. Mm -hmm. And while we were at Be Stitch Me, I found this piece of morning fog that I think is going to be yes. beautiful behind these. Yes. I have a couple colors that I maybe need to change out mm -hmm. before I get there. Um, but we are having the start along event for the frog warts piece for all of the stitchers, um, next Sunday. And I thought, you know what, that's when I'm going to start this. Yeah. And then I'll 
I'll start it that day. And when that's over, I'll leave it probably. I don't know. They get to stitch the whole time. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do too. But my goal will, will, will be to try and finish it during frog wars. Yes. This one has really cute narwhal fabric inside and has these maps outside. This is another made by me. Yeah, so good. So I need to get some charms mm -hmm. because my pincer grasp is not always the best and some little charms would be fabulous yes. for that. So that's part of my July and also that uh, Santa's Village that I showed you. If I can find some fabric, I would like to do that. And also Ruby from Carolyn Manning. Oh, yes. <laughs> we haven't picked also, a date. We haven't that. picked a date. We'll pick a date. We'll let you know. Yeah. We're going to be kind of busy for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So we will we'll get everything together and see what we're going to do. We may do. So we're doing a stitch with us for next week. But maybe for the next one, we could start our Ooh, Ruby. That would be fun. So we have invited you to work on Ruby with us also or another Carolyn Manning. And she has a lot of birthstone ones. Mm -hmm. so you can work on your own birthstone. She's also come out with some gorgeous things. Like she is yes. always there's always, always something new. If, mm -hmm. if you are into Carolyn Manning, you should join her Facebook group because she is always posting new things. Or maybe you don't want to join that Facebook group because every day you open it and you're like, "Well, I want that one." <laughs> so. And also, uh, you can buy most of her charts on her site mm -hmm. as PDFs. Yeah, and they work with Pattern Keeper, mm -hmm. or at least the ones that I have in. So. Yeah. So we really like that. We both use Pattern Keeper. Sure. Um, I think that's it for my for my plans and things. You know, I'll just probably be stitching like a mad woman. Right, right. For <laughs> the whole rest of the summer. Yeah, of course. Why, what else would you do with your summer vacation? <laughs> so is there anything else that we need to cover? Have we rambled enough? Mm, I mean, we could get up to a few more shenanigans, but maybe we should let it go. Okay, well, <laughs> then I guess there's nothing left to say except bye. Bye. Have a good week.